Now you know it's not not a good look when uh Jake, that's not even in the truth, is defending you. I'm gonna start by giving all the praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Rechak with Ash. Double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of the great millstone that rule well. And as always, peace, blessings, and salutations. Until the fourth elect tabernacle of David scattered abroad throughout the earth. So I had just uh, received this notification of a comment that was uh, left on uh, the video that I did concerning Nate, you know, where he happens to be out on the island in the Caribbean, you know, talking about the tribe of Dan is among the tribe of Benjamin, in which uh, I specifically asked in this video for him to prove all things like the scriptures say. Otherwise, you know, you're uh, bringing in another heresy and it's it's false. And, um, you know, we're not to lead the sheep astray. All right. Um, he was going off in his in his video. And then at the end of the video, you know, he used the name Jesus Christ. When, you know, he's constantly rebuked on on using that name because we know that that's not the Lord's name. And then follow it up with a, a a sinister smirk and actually says the, the actual name of the father and the son. But he said it in a very prideful, mocking manner, which is something you don't do. And instead of actually uh, disagreeing with Nate's actions, you got individuals on here actually defending this dude. So you know it's bad. When you got dudes who really don't know what this thing is all about coming to your defense. All right. Jake really have no idea. They have no clue. You know what this is all about, man. And when the Lord starts bringing judgment, then they're going to start to recognize. They're going to understand. But for some of them, it might be too late. So this individual right here. He comes on here and says, y'all better be careful speaking on the Most High Prophets, Bishop Nathan, a great dude, one of the rawest black men on planet Earth. So he's just exalting his man to the dear heavens. And that's and that's a that's not a good look. You know, when you um, exalt man on the earth like that. And this is the type of um, men that. Nate surrounds himself with all right he he doesn't have men in his circle to you know bring him to the side and actually you know tell him of his actions you know how he's moving and with it and especially according to the doctrine all right um when you got a bunch of people that's just going to admire and and, and use flattery you know, that's not really good. Because then you start to believe all that that that, that talk and it gets to your head. And there's another uh, Israelite group leader that's the same way. Well, all he surrounds himself with is just a bunch of yes men and, and, and underlings. You know, now his head is on swole. You know, throw, throw a little fitted cap on top of it. But, um... You're doing Nate, a uh, uh, Bishop Nate, a disservice, you know, coming on here trying to defend the man. All right, there's a reason why the Lord puts the spirit on men to 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 rebuke. This is uh, Proverbs 28 and 23. This is in the NLT. It says, "In the end, people appreciate honest criticism far more than flattery." Because you never know, sometimes that can pull you out of the fire. And that's literally what we do with these type of lessons. We don't just get on guys because we're jealous and envious. Or, you know, we just have a hateful, bitter spirit on us. All right, when we hear something and, and, and it's an error, we detect it and we respond. Because the scriptures tell us to, to rebuke and reprove Second Timothy, 
to like your not to. I meant to go to uh four. Second Timothy four and two. I'll start at one. It says, I solemnly urge you in the presence of the most high and of Yahweh Mashiach, who will someday judge the living and the dead when he appears to set up his kingdom. Preach the word of the Most High, be prepared, whether the time is favorable or not. Patiently correct, rebuke, and encourage people with good teaching. For a time is coming when people will no longer listen to sound and wholesome teaching. And Nate, he's no longer teaching sound and whole teachings. When you teach that, are people going to burn in hell forever? But yet, there's a lake of fire, and then you teach that the lake of fire is America on fire. But then there's this hill where you're going to burn forever. But then uh, there's going to be this uh, glass wall where those who's burning forever is going to be looking at the people who's in paradise. And now you create nothing but confusion, man, out of a, 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 a cunningly devised fable. All right. Because you're misinterpreting and understanding the message of the Lord in this parable. All right. When you teaching that uh, after a thousand years, Esau is going to rebel again. When you teaching that the MOTB is uh, his uh, is uh, Esau's policies, it's an embargo, it's Christianity, it's sin, it's this, it's that. He might throw a chip up in there. So you just all out just sowing confusion, man. You know? You blowing the, uh, the trumpet with an uncertain uh, sound. And that's hireling behavior. All right. And you're not, you, you, you don't know those men. And you don't know their, their history. This dude probably ain't been in the truth for, for, for no time. Calling him the rawest black man on, on planet earth. So you, we still use it. So you're still a black man. Or you are an Israelite. So you got these, 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 uh, you know, Johnny come lately popping up defending this dude. That's not a good look, man. We're, we're commanded to, to rebuke and reprove. And this dude, he's going off. Now the tribe of Dan is identified and it's a, among the Benjaminites. So I'm a jet set over to the island. All right, and, and and teach something that I can't prove with the scriptures. So we got to call this behavior out. It doesn't mean that we that we're hating. If we didn't do what we're doing, that would show uh, carelessness on, on on our part. Do not is it not saying our law to to rebuke your neighbor to not suffer sin upon him? Yo, come on, man. Now, let me get a uh, real quick. Look up that word reprove. And it's from the word, the Greek word. Elincho. And it says affinity to confute, admonish, convict, tell a fault, rebuke. It's a generally with a suggestion of shame of the person convicted. By conviction to bring to the light, to expose, to find fault with, correct. And we do it through what? Through, through the scriptures. Because the Lord's word is given for um, reproof, for, for correction, for instruction, etc. All right. It says to reprehend severely chide admonish reprove to call to account show one his fault demand an explanation and i was in my video i was just demanding an explanation on how dan is among the uh the tribe of benjamin and i'm only saying that because from what i understand and with the elder apostles my elders who came from the same school he came from all right which uh the elder apostle tahar was actually over nate in, in the old school um, They've never taught that 
as well as uh, uh, the new moon being a full moon, where, where, who else teaches this? And why can't we say anything about it without uh, being called a hater? Some of you dudes in this thing for entertainment, man. You know, you think the guy, he looks the part, so you think he is that guy. You don't, you don't know these, these, these individuals, man. You need to be quiet and, 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 and continue to learn. All right? Fall back and just learn. Because I went on your page and, like usual, you ain't got nothing going on. And then looking at your avatar, you you got them old dog braids hanging over your forehead. You ain't in the boat to be saying anything, man. What the heck is this stuff? This is all foolishness, man. This ain't this ain't the work. So, you know, be careful to to exalt uh, men in a in a fashion that you're doing it. Because uh, the Lord, there's no respect of, of, of persons. Let me see real quick. I think it's in Jude. In Jude uh, verse 16, it says, These are murmurers, complainers, walking after their own lusts. And their mouth speak of grace swelling words, having men's persons in admiration because of advantage. You know. And you know, it's not it's not good to have respect of persons just because of their uh position. All right. Because he that shall be exalted, he or should I say he that exalted himself shall be abased. All right. Now, yeah, the scriptures do say, "Let another man praise praise you, and not and not thy own lips." But there's a difference between giving a man his just due versus just flat out just, you know, glazing a dude, man. Not knowing the overall situation and not knowing that individual. All right. And this is uh, Job 32 and 21. It says, let me not, I pray you, accept any man's person, neither give me, like, neither let me give flattering titles unto man. It's the rawest black man on the planet. You know, that's, come on, man. I wouldn't care to hear nothing like that. Because I'm not a, I'm, I'm, I'm not a black man. All right. I'm an Israelite. I'm a servant. Okay. I'm a teacher. I'm a follower, a leader. Hey, but I'm not seeking to. I'm not seeking for for praise or flattery on this side, man. You think just because what you seeing is a is a good look, you think that he's worthy of that? But you don't know half. You don't. You don't even know half, man. Um. Job 34 and 19, it says, How much less to him that accepteth not the persons of princes, no regard of the rich more than the poor, where they are all the work of his hands. In the most high, he's not in all of, an, of, of other men's greatness. Because he, he appears great because he has a big following. You know, you like his uh, cult of personality. You like his, his charisma. But the most high who, is who made the dude. All right, in the Most High, He don't look on man like like man do. All right, it says, uh, "Wisdom of Solomon six and seven. It says, "For he which is Lord over all shall fear no man's person; neither shall he stand in awe of any man's greatness, for he hath made the small and great and care for all alike." You know, and that which is highly esteemed, like Yahweh Shai said, that which is highly esteemed among men. Is an abomination. That dude is constantly just he he's always going uh both ways. You know, he he'll teach one thing and then turn around and teach something else. 
and it'll uh, contradict. And we've we've pointed that out many a times. All right. And instead of him humbling down and admitting, he just continue like as if it, it, it never happens. And then, you know, his followers, when we respond, they'll they'll uh, come at us with with a bunch of gaslight. Like, you know, we're like we're crazy for having audacity to say anything about it. Like we just going to just continue to just, you know. Act like we didn't hear what we heard. And just continue on about our day. And we will be going off of doing that. That goes against the law. And Nate, later on, if the Lord humbles him, you know, which I believe that's going to happen again, he's going to start to eventually appreciate that if, if he is a man of the Lord. He's going to appreciate it, man. Right now, it might seem annoying, you know, ag agitating to him. But at some point, he's going to have to consider. Especially if that MOTB, the, the, the C-Hit becomes uh, mandatory. When they implement that all across the globe, and you got to take it, that, that's, that's when eyes are going to really be open at that point. All right. <clears throat> Proverbs 28 and 21, it says to have a respect of persons is not good for a piece of for a piece of bread that man will transgress. All right. And it's going into judging by outward appearances, you know, because we're the bum camp, you know, so people, they the rebuke coming from us is not respected because we're considered the bum camp. You know, we're not a. Uh, you know, commercialized. Uh, we're not world friendly. You know, we're not Broadway Israelites. So when we say something, it's not going to be extolled to the clouds. You know, they're going to watch for whatever we say and use it to, you know, come against us. And having that type of uh, attitude, you know, this is is uh, is not becoming of a true servant of Yah Bashem Yah Shai. Okay. I'm going to read this because this does actually apply. People, they really like Nate's appearance. And that's why, you know, speaking against him is like speaking against a demigod, right? Uh, James 2 and 1, it says, My brethren, have have not the faith of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, Mashi, Mashiach, the Lord of glory, with respect of persons. You know, because, um, you know, we if, if we please men, then we're not true servants of Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai. You know, but if we do the things that please the most high, that's what counts. Now, yeah, you are to um, please good men, you know, especially those who watch over your soul. Um, and, and we don't do it with just uh, eye service. We don't do it uh, just when they're, you know, watching us, but also when we're when, when they're absent. Doing this thing sincere, you know, heartily to, to the Lord. Because this thing is, you know, we do this thing 24-7 uh, because the Mosiah ultimately is watching us, the king of the universe. So verse 2, it says, for if there come unto your assembly a man with a gold ring and goodly apparel, and there come also come in also a poor man in vile raiment. So, you know, you look at guys like uh, Nate and you look at they get up. You know, he's crisp. You got, you know, jewelry on, rings on. You got that 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 royal purple on. And then you look at us, we got the, the sackcloth garments, you know, whatever color. Might be a little rough, it might be a little dingy with, with border blue and fringes on it. And you have respect to him that wear gay clothing, meaning extravagant clothing, and say to him, sit thou here in a good place. And say to the poor, stand thou there or sit here under my footstool. And that's Jake's attitude. They they merely look at you as, as nothing. You're nothing to respect just based on your appearance. You know, I, I think that's a part of why we, you know, get looked at in the in the light that we do. You know, we don't we don't look appealing to, to the world, to the masses. 
So anything that we say, <laughs> people going to be like, who, who are these dudes? Why are y'all talking? Don't, don't speak on these dudes. Look at, look at them. They marching a thousand strong. You know, they, they on the beach with it. Homie rolling on a, on a horse. That got to be a man of God. Traveling the world, jet setting. It says, are you not then partial in yourselves and are become judges of evil thoughts? Hearken, my, my beloved brethren, have not the most high chosen the poor of this world rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom which he have promised to them that love him? But you have despised the poor. You do not, it's like you do not rich men oppress you and draw you before the judgment seats. Do they not blaspheme that worthy name by which you are called? And Nate is guilty, man. He has a, a, a real disdain for the name of, of the father and his son. The type of games that he that he plays with it. If he was really real and he he feared the name of the Lord, he wouldn't he wouldn't do what he's doing. He even he said years ago, and I still got the video. He said he despised he he scorns when he hear that name. How could you scorn hearing the true name of the Father and the Son? Because the only time you hear that name is when, you know, we're greet we're starting off our videos with a greet when we salute each other, but when we're giving uh, praises to him, when we praying to him, that's the only time you hear you you really hear that name. And he says he despises. And scorn when he hears it. So something is wrong. And he used to teach it con convincingly. With conviction. So something happened. And y'all don't know that because you you dudes, you knew Johnny Come Lately's wasn't around. How could you see videos like that of him teaching so thorough of the name and then now he's uh, uh, using the name in a mocking manner? It says, if you fulfill the royal law according to the scripture, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself, you do well. But if you have respect to persons, you commit sin and are convinced of the law as transgressors. And that's what this dude right here don't realize he's doing. See? So... Telling us to be careful on speaking on this guy when this guy is 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 totally in error. He's totally in in uh, going off. You know, with all these heresies, I think you need to uh, consider your own words and don't be a hypocrite. Because if you don't if you don't know what's going on, then you need to just fall back and and, and be the hell quiet, man. You should all be ashamed of yourself. Sh shut up, man. And the most eyes finna start bringing judgment down. It, uh, First Peter uh, four and seventeen, but judgment must begin at the, at the house of the Most High. And if the righteous shall scarcely be saved, where shall the sinner and the, the ungodly appear, man? The Lord's getting ready to. He's, he's finna. And all these dudes that you high, hold in the high regard, that you're exalting, you, the Lord's gonna start making examples, and a lot of you gonna you're gonna flee. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna scatter, man. Yeah, I have no clue. So, <clears throat> you know that that that's pretty much uh, the lesson. I just have to respond to this. This comment right here, you know, a lot of Jake, they coming into this thing, really not understanding what this is all about. All right. Like this is other person. We Israelites in the truth beef more with one another than we beef with any other group, religion or nationality. Well, uh, Yahweh Shai, he wasn't cussing out uh, the Romans as often as he was cussing out them hypocritical scribes and Pharisees now, was he? When it goes, yeah, uh, that, that's, that's my response. All right. So anyway, with that, I'm going to give all praise to Yahweh Shai. 
And until the next lesson, Shalom.